hi everyone, it's Anne. Today we're going to take a look at an independent oracle deck called the Fool's Items Oracle. It is a mini pocket size deck. Fool's Items Oracle, Oracle of Enchantment. So it came with this outer sleeve. So the sleeve just slides off and then this is the actual tuck box pocket edition fool's items oracle deck oracle of enchantment and it's um by 78 tarot magical and they're the same people if you're familiar who makes this 78 um tarot cards theme um each year they make limited edition and then it's a collaboration collaboration of artists and each artist creates one card in the tarot deck so this year they also created an oracle deck all the same idea uh, a collaboration of different artists so the universe is full of magical things patiently waiting for our wits to grow sharper eden phil potts all right, so it's very tiny. Just to give you an idea to scale, this is a traditional plaid back tarot card. That's how small it is, the box. <laughs> so, and I have petite hands and it's, you know, fits right on the palm of my hand. So let's open it up and take a look. And I happen to stumble upon this uh, on Etsy because I uh, have... I do have several, one, two, three, four, five, this is one of them, of the their uh, tarot decks. And actually I pulled them out because I was thinking about doing a, um, a video with my collection of their decks because most of them are out of print now um, because I did not, I've never done a walkthrough. When I first started this channel, as I mentioned in the past, it was just kind of impulsive. I was doing readings on my other channel, T Tarot, and then I decided, well, let's create a second channel to do just the review. So I didn't review all of my earlier decks. So I should go back. So I'm thinking about doing it. So let me know if you're interested. Um, I'll probably get to it sooner or later probably more for me so I know which of their decks I have. Sometimes I forget and I buy order the same decks again if it's really old. All right, so just to give you an idea of the card, that's how tiny, let's zoom back out after I just zoom in. That's how tiny the cards is compared to a plaid back. Very cute though. And it is papery. Uh, they do have a, a an edition that is gilded. This particular pocket mini deck in a tuck box is not gilded. And here are the backs one more time. It looks like it is reversible, but doesn't matter for Oracle cards. All right. So let's zoom back in and take a look. And it comes with uh, no physical guidebook, but it does come with a uh, online PDF guidebook. But I never really use guidebooks, so it's not a big deal for me. All right, so it's in alphabetical order. As you can see, it's borderless. And the pictures are gorgeous. And this name that's underneath each card is the name of the artist that created the card. As I mentioned, it's a collaborative uh, project. And each, each artist creates one card. But they have a theme. So this is the fantasy theme, right? Yeah, fool's items theme. So there is one theme, but each artist just does their own thing. So that's why you're going to see the art is different on each card. And it's nice they put the name of the artist on the card. So if you like their work or their art style, you can look them up and see what other decks and just buy you know, other works, other decks that they've done as well. So 
So this is Akashic Records. How beautiful is that? By Sue Rundle Hughes. Just gorgeous. Altar by Carol Phillips. The colors are really nice. And the paper is matte, by the way. I didn't mention that. It is matte and it is bendable, flexible, but it is matte. It has a little bit of coating, but it feels uh, papery. So Amulet by Rebecca Sin. Armor, Nathan Dixon. I never know how to pronounce this. I forget. I don't know how to pronounce that. Eric Logren. Is it a, a... I don't know. I meant to look it up. I meant to look it up. It's driving me nuts. So let me look it up. Because I want to know how to pronounce it. Uh, it's taking longer than I want it. I should have just done dictionary. Sorry, guys. I got all kind of distraction this morning. Trying to record this. A-T-H-A-M-E. I just want to know. It doesn't have... Oh, man. It doesn't have the thing to pronounce. You know how sometimes you look up the dictionary um, and it gives you the pronunciation of it, like the recording, and it doesn't say. It just says the definition, a witch's ceremonial knife, usually with a black handle used in rituals rather than for cutting or carving. So it gives you the definition. But why? Because always, the dictionary always give you that voice. That voice, you know, that voice where you can pronounce it. Maybe it didn't finish download yet. Uh, oh, it did give you a thing here. A theme. I don't know. Anyway, you guys can help me. It just drives <laughs> little things like this drive me nuts. I was going to record, you know, look it up before I did the recording, and then I have a new mic, and then I was just anyway. Sorry, Eric Logren, Bell, Jeff, Christian, beautiful. Bones, Alexander Gustafson, Broomstick, Natalie Islick, Candles. I'm not going to say the name of all the authors. It's there. You can see it because I don't want to butcher all their names. Cauldron. Oh, this is one of my favorites. I saw it in the picture before I ordered Chalice. Yeah, I didn't know they came out with an Oracle deck. But I guess it's meant to be because I just happened to be on Etsy and I saw this and I clicked it. And it was the same people that made the 78 card. Tarot card. Cloak. Coin. Very beautiful colors. Nice illustration to a compass. Wow. Constellation. Crystal ball. Crystals. Element air. Element earth. 
element fire, so it has all the elements. Element water. Oh, so each author create an element? Yeah, that is pretty cool. Each author, so different author, create an element. Wow, that's really cool. I like the fire and the water. The air is nice, too. They're all nice in different ways. Isn't that cool? All right. Element spirit. Wow. Erica Nelson. Oh, there's a figure in there. I was so attracted to all the other colors. All right. Essential oils. Very nice. Familiar bunny. How cute. Familiar cat, Joanna Nelson. Oh, she's the one I just did the walkthrough on yesterday. So she's one of the uh, artists in this collaboration. I know she's friends with Katie Walsh. All right. Familiar frog. Matthew Warlick. Katie Welsh is the person who put all this together, by the way. I'm just dropping names like I assume you guys know. <laughs> well, the Terra community knows, I guess. But if you're brand new, you're probably like, who's Katie Welsh? She's the one that started this project, this 78 collaboration project. From, and she's the owner of the 78 Tarot. Uh, familiar, I, I believe, Familiar Mouse. Familiar Owl. And this is one independent uh, seller that I am um, usually happy with when I, you know, make a purchase for Hourglass House Incense Lantern. Look how beautiful the colors are. Oh, bright, vivid. I love it. Map Mirror Moon. Mushrooms, plants, gorgeous, puppet, wow, portal, these would make excellent clarifier cards in a tarot reading, which is the main reason why I buy oracle cards, potion, as clar to be used as clarifiers in my tarot reading. Quill. Oh my god, I love the colors in this deck. Ritual. Robe. Room. Very beautiful. Beautiful depiction of the room. How nice. Sage. Salt. It's like all the tools, right? Is this that all the tools? All the spiritual tools? That's what I'm getting. Sometimes I don't read. I miss Fool's Items Oracle. Okay, so it's all the tools, all the items. Scrolls. Very nice. Sigils. Yeah, it's all the uh, spiritual tools items. Spell jars. Staff, nice crystal wand, well staff, telescope, tomb, vials, spiderweb, and last but not least, wand with beautiful colors of pinks and purples. Beautiful. 
here are the backs. And there's no physical guidebook for me to show you, so. Zoom back out. Let's put it like this. I'll put one more. Put it over there. I don't know how to do this. There. All right, you guys. A fun, independent deck. I hope you guys enjoy that. Sorry for the uh, interruption at the beginning. A little scatter this morning. Uh, but um, it's on Etsy. So it's not on Amazon as an independent deck. So it's on Etsy if you guys are interested. Once again, hope you enjoy that. Thanks for watching. And I will catch you again on the next video. Oh, and stay tuned. I just ordered the tarot deck. So it should be coming next week. And if you like this theme, uh, stay tuned. I will do a review once that arrives this coming week. Probably towards the end of the week. Probably by next weekend. All right. Bye.